Alright, what up everybody? Your boy Game Day here again. Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate Wii U Canteen End of the Roads. This is a still Uragon mission um, on the volcano. I'm in here with Rory Lee. The other people are randoms. Um, it's all good though. It's always good to um, play with new people, make new friends that way, be sociable. Um, none of these guys are actually talking inside the room in the lobby, or otherwise you would hear them talking. I guess they prefer not to be. Um, I guess they prefer not to talk, which is alright. Always paint the monster. Um, I always knew he's going to be over here. I always dive when they scream at me. Um, this is basically Jay Leno. We call him Jay Leno for that chin. I know that's pretty messed up, but he's known as Jay Leno. <laughs> oh, man. It's always fun fighting him. Um, if you have a poison weapon, bring that. I don't know why I brought... Um, a fire sword is the least thing he's fucking affected by, so that's my bad. Um, that's not teaching anybody out there new that's watching how to fight this guy. Um, the best thing to fight him with would probably be a bow gun or a fucking hammer. That's what I'm saying. You bring a hammer, you hammer that fucking dome or that fucking chin off, you bust that chin up, and you knock him out. Just like this Liza person, she'll probably end up knocking him out, and then we get free hits on the tail. So these are the fucking vital points. You just want to take out his chin and you want to take off his tail. Everything else is pretty hard to fuck with. Even swinging at his tail is hard to get. So the reason I go for his feet right here is to knock him over. Um, get ran over by this stupid ass rhino. These rhino are annoying as shit, man. They can kill you too. And I don't know why he's all tired and shit. Nobody has done anything to him. Nobody has put any work into him. Nobody has any... Um, exhaust bullets or I don't know I'm right underneath his legs so I'm getting some good hits on him as long as you're not in direct line of fire getting hit with that tail you're good so he has a few moves you want to watch out for you want to watch out for that hammer right there that's like his hammer hit if you can dodge that you can get some free hits me and Lee were going for that tail um, good he knocked him over I don't know if somebody hit him or if he got hit by that explosion either way we're gonna go for it kind of hard to get the tail and it's always flopping around like that but you try your best uh, this is one of the levels you want to go mining on so you want to bring your pickaxes bring all the pickaxes you can I'm pretty sure you're gonna have too much stuff um, you want to watch out for this attack right here if you get hit by this attack you, you can't use any of your um, potions it's like a done attack I say it's done because it's brown um, he does another attack similar the same thing but it's blue if he hits you with the blue one, you get put to sleep, and that's a free hit for him. And he will come after you if you're fucking on the ground sleep. It's like he knows. He's like, oh yeah, I put one on the sleep. It's like a fucking spider or, or a fucking snake with the venom. They know when they got you, you know? So watch out for his tail, sw tail spin. Watch out for when he rolls up like a ball. This shit right here, that shit will kill you. I don't know how many times in the beginning when I first played Monster Hunter, try, I've seen people die from that. Even I died from it a few times, but then, like, I learned how to fucking try. I learned to get away from that shit. I mean, if you don't dive, you're going to get hit twice. He'll roll over you twice. I guess imagine him um, on this game, like, in the later later missions. He's probably really hard. Like, these ones, he's not as aggressive, but, um, I mean, I remember him in the plus version of fucking Hunter, or um, Try. He was a fucking beast. But this is the still, um... Still Yuragon. Or Yara. We just call him Leno, though. Just call him Leno. Everybody know who you're talking about. I flashbang boogied him. I'm trying to get in position. Watch out for the tail spin. Go over here and heal. Well, he's hurt. I'm just going to go ahead and heal him a little bit. Liza's hurt, too. Um. So yeah, what moves do he have? He has the fucking hammer with his fucking face. He has a swing to tail shit around. He has the fucking basically the enabler move when he he disables enabler. He disables your your um, item usage if he hits you with that dun bun. He has the sleeping attack. So sleep roll, sleep roll, dun, hammer attack, and swing. So he has about five moves he does. You just watch out for those. Um, he's more susceptible to um, poison, so if you have a poison weapon, bring him. He's always been the the per person that you want to poison the most. He dies quick from poison. I don't. That's how they made the game. 
something you find out later on. Just like if you keep poisoning him, he just he just dies quick. I don't. I should have brought. Oh, look who's back in town. I should have brought my poison sword. Um, like I said, most of the time I'm just chilling in the fucking lobby. I'm gonna get hit. Oh, I didn't get hit. I was just outside the circle of that fucking impact. Somebody tried to flashbang him, but that didn't work. Um, what was I gonna say? I guess I'll mind that he's done spinning around. Usually he, he gets fucking tired. Like his stamina gets low and he spins around and he just falls over. Good time to go for the face or go for the tail. Like he'll tire himself out, like I said. Um, you want to bring poison weapons. Like I used to bow gun him all the time with like uh, one of the. Well, I knocked him over just in time so he didn't get hit by that. Yep, you're welcome. I saved them from getting hit. I mean, that's what you gotta do. Sometimes you have to hit your friends. If you hit them, they're like invincible for a minute. Invincible frames. The action of them falling on the ground um, takes over from them getting hit by the monster. Just like the dive. If you run and dive, you're invincible for like two or three seconds. Somebody putting down a trap? Rory Lee's putting down a trap. And that's the dive I was talking about. If you learn how to dive at the correct moment, look at that rhino taking out people. If you dive at the correct moment, then, um, like I said, you will not get hit. Ah, oh, shit. I thought he was going to step in there. Go in there. Uh, so he ends up looking at me, and I think I ends up costing, he's going to end up leaving the level. I thought he was going to get into it. Is he going to come into it? He rolls right past it. That's not fair. All because I went to the side. So anytime somebody puts down a trap, just go over there and stand by it. And look who else is on the fucking level. Big JoJo. The fool's always in the fucking game, man. He's in like every fucking level. He's just that greedy. Don't worry, Lee. I'll put down the trap. See how I didn't get hit? Invincible when you fucking dive. You only can do the dive when you have your sword put away. And you hold the run button. So I'll put the trap down just because Lee was trying to go for it. I'll go for the dome since I'm closer, even though it's not a smart idea with the sword. The hammer guy's coming. The hammer, bro. I'm just flashbang him, ain't I? Flashbang? Oh, I don't have any more. We cut the tail off, that's what I'm talking about. See so if we can get him in the trap before he actually runs away from this one. I'm surprised um, Lee's trap is still over there because um, Joe's lurking over there. Those other monsters will step in the trap like idiots. Another good thing to do is if you know that Joe's going to be in the level, is carry some of that sleep meat or bring some of the paralyzing meat. And just put it down. He'll eat it. And he'll go to sleep for a little bit. It's always best to bring... He only he only can go to sleep like every now and then. So the first one will be really, really, really effective. But like if you put down another sleep bomb... Am I the only one taking him out? Oh, that's because my trap's over there. I forgot I even put it down. I'm just like, well, he's not doing shit over here. So I'm going to take him out. I think it was a smart decision. I mean, is it, don't you guys think it's a smart decision for me to, to tackle him like that? I mean, he's not moving. He's His stamina's down. So he rolls over here, and he rolls past the trap again. He rolls past the trap again. You want to hit anything that's not the top part of his body, because those fucking horns are hard to hit. My sword's already fucked up. It needs to be sharpened. As you can see, the sword has chips in it. That's what happens. Your sword will get chips in it. And I just at this point in time, I'm like, man, this fucking Yara is like easy as shit. Like, what's the difference between the fucking still one and the other one? He's more fucking weak. And he's paralyzed right now because Lee paralyzed him. See him? I know you can't see him really, but that's why he's doing that little dance over there. I'm over here typing something on the Wii pad. Are we sure this is Yara? Because <laughs> he's so damn weak, you know? I'm like, he can do better than this. Come on, yo. Uh, but there is an ability to make 
Jay Leno, baby. Um, basically, there's another... There's an ability to make the monsters weaker, and that's by eating um, a food skill. Like, it says weaker. Chances are the monster would be weaker instead of a over-aggressive. And there's actually a thing that somebody can eat and get Game Changer. This automatically assures that there's going to be another fucking big monster in the match. So did we capture him or did we kill him? We captured him because he's fucking sleeping. You see the bubbles popping off. And that chin is busted, as you can see. You can tell it's busted at the bottom. That's how it's done. I'm going to go inside of him, let you guys take a peek inside of him. If I can't spin the camera around, this is what he looks like inside. Pretty colorful. There goes his eyes. That's pretty scary. <laughs> Either that's his eyes or the horns. Either way, good match, guys. Uh, we did handle ours. No match. This hero is no match. This guy has out a switch axe blade just like Lee. He's going to start changing it over. Yeah. So switch axe changes over to like a blade and then it changes back to the, um, the switch axe thing. Not my type of weapon, but um, pretty effective, pretty strong, pretty upgradable. Alright then guys, I hope you guys appreciate the video, appreciate you guys coming through, please stay tuned, I have more Monster Hunter videos, and I probably will keep saying that, because um, Monster Hunter is my game, baby. Alright then, until next time, stay gaming, my friends, it's game day, baby, peace.